What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. I'm back with a new Xbox 360 review for you this week. This time, I'll be taking a look at Dragon Age Origins, which was developed by Bioware and published by EA, with a North American release date of November 3rd, 2009. It was also released for the PlayStation 3 and PC. Dragon Age Origins is the spiritual successor to Baldur's Gate, which had games on the original Xbox, PlayStation 2, GameCube, and Game Boy Advance, just to name a few. The game takes some influences for its lore and background and style from the Lord of the Rings series, as well as the A Song of Ice and Fire series. The game starts off in a fictional land called Ferelden, where a group of evil creatures called Darkspawn are threatening to destroy the entire land and take over the world. You have been recruited into an order called the Grey Wardens, which is a warrior order, and your purpose is to try to unite the land and stop the coming horde. When you start up the game, you could pick between one of three classes, which are warrior, mage, or rogue, and one of three races, human, dwarf, or elf. Quick note, dwarves cannot be mages. There's also a possibility of six origin stories or prologue stories that you could play when you start up the game. Each of these is roughly about an hour long, and they are Human Noble, Mage, City Elf, Dalish Elf, Castless Dwarf, and Dwarf Noble. So yeah, there's a lot of replayability even just with the prologues alone. On top of all of this in the game, Depending on the class and race that you pick, it might also unlock certain side quests that you can only play as that specific origin. So, just something to take note if you ever decide to play this game. In addition to a bunch of side quests and the prologue, there's a large sweeping story, which is kind of your attempt at uniting the land and saving the world. I don't want to get into any spoilers here. The biggest negative that I can find with Dragon Age Origins is the combat. The majority of the battles that you play see you highly at numbered. When you play in the combat, you have what's called the dial-in menu, where you can give commands to your party members, or they have tactics that are preset by the computer, which you can edit if you wish, and then they just go out and use those specific commands. I will say that the combat in this game has a major learning curve. Oftentimes you're completely swarmed in enemies, and even on the lowest difficulty, it's pretty easy to die if you're not careful or have proper armor and weapons. Where Dragon Age Origin shines the absolute brightest is with its dialogue. Your character doesn't speak, but instead you're given a dialogue tree. This allows you to what you want to pick to say. There's also a wealth of dialogue with the NPCs, as well as the four party members, which I haven't brought up, that you carry with you at all times. Whenever you venture forth, you're going to have up to three people join you, so four people total in your party. Next, let's touch on the music and sound effects. I have absolutely no complaints here. The music fits perfectly with the overall theme of the game, and the voice actors did a fantastic job fleshing out the various characters, NPCs, and even more so, the characters that you bring in your party. They really all have their own motivations and reasons for following you. So, there's a lot of depth with the characters that are in your party. And furthermore, if you figure out the proper things to say to them, they also have their own quests too. Just something to take note of. So finally, to close out this video, is Dragon Age Origins worth adding to your collection and playing today? Absolutely. It's one of the most immersive RPGs that I've ever played. Thanks for watching, and until next time, everybody.